All right, our next question. Um, so this is regarding to when you worked with one of the singers, why not why? And then E, as Kenneth shows in his form and explanation. So I don't know if, if you remember this session and in, in this, you can relate to this question or not. Oh, sure. No, Ken Bozeman is a dear friend and mentor. And, um, and I, uh, I believe, I think I saw that pop through in the chat, uh, Soren, uh, asking that question. So, um, yeah, I, I love that demonstration too. Um, I believe when we were working, so going from the U to the E um, um, can be a really great way of kind of experiencing the first formant and the second formant of the vowel and how they work together. And, um, and I use that a lot in my teaching. In this particular demonstration, it was even more for uh, going after the high frequency energy above those two formants. Mm -hmm. So using the E <clears throat> to bring awareness to not just the energy at the second formant, but really the third, fourth, and depending on the voice type, fifth or the style. So when I'm helping a soprano, um, a natural soprano find their mixed belt, we're actually, I'm using that, that sound, drawing their attention to that sound to help them find energy in their voice above 5,000 Hertz, which means we're getting some pharynx narrowing. But instead of doing that by saying, narrow your pharynx, oh gosh, real bad instruction. <laughs> like I would never say that. I, I did a couple times when I was learning how to do this and then it didn't go so well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but instead drawing their attention to the energy that that is a result of that. And um, so that U to E is kind of going after a, a slightly different end of the spectrum than what we were doing in that demonstration. Yeah. But I love both. Yeah, it's great. I also like doing the right between the U and the E when you're just shifting between you, you lock into those didgeridoo alien <laughs> tones and it's a lot of fun. Also, just want to comment that I agree with you. Uh, people, don't, don't, don't try and squeeze on the inside. Next <laughs> on the inside, it will happen with certain vowels, but if you try and do it more, almost always what happens is you squeeze and then it gets tight. The pharyngeal constrictor muscles activate and that always sounds strained. So, uh, yeah, no squeezing. <laughs>